Thank you for tuning in to the Voice Production Partners and Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchef, and today I was not a bad boy. I was not a bad boy all week. I kept my snake juice up <clears throat> to par, to snuff, and even then some to make sure that I was not going to be uh, dehydrated like I was the week before from drinking coffee and tea, trying to make weight. Here's the lesson learned. I could have got to the, to, to the same weight by just doing what I was doing diet-wise, uh, and not drinking any coffee or tea. I would have gotten there, but I didn't trust the process. So sorry about that, coach. And that kind of set me back um, a week. So all week I've been doing nothing but sleeping, just getting gobs and gobs of sleep, letting my body recover from all the caffeine. And I'm beginning to feel like my old self again. So next week uh, should be an even better week because today was a really great day of training. I didn't have any problems. Uh, the uh, the squats felt really crisp. The felt uh, my form felt really on point, and the weight felt very very light. I was even uh, moving the barbell faster than usual. I wasn't taking him every rep as as super deep, but coming up to the top set of 345 here in a second, you'll see that it's definitely plenty deep enough, uh, definitely to depth. And that is a great sign because um, I couldn't have another week like last week. That's the sort of thing that really messes with your psychology, messes with your confidence. And so um, um, there is no question, you know, making weight is not an issue. And I will be uh, setting new PRs. That's just the way it is. So um, here's the 345 for a single. And I think this was one of the better squats that I've hit. Uh, in this training cycle, although I think maybe the barbell was falling forward a little bit too much, but I but it didn't stop me from hitting depth. And then for the sets coming up, um, I have a couple things to say about that. But first, let's look at this this uh, single for three forty five. If the barbell stays over the midfoot, I get depth, and that is a good lift. Now for the 290, uh, three sets of four, the last set, I thought I was pausing every single one, but I need to have somebody uh, trustworthy call out my pauses next week and the week after that because that's going to be the key to, um, to really – getting the most out of this program is pausing these squats and pausing them at depth. I can admit that I do not do that well enough yet, not even close. So we're going to get that right. And we're going to have a great, uh, we're going to have a great meet. So one word I have to say about dehydration, man, that if you're, um, you're planning on doing any type of weightlifting seriously, <laughs> You need to drink that snake juice, man. You know, I mean, my my coach's recipe is so simple. And it's really, really good. Uh, it's actually, I mean, it's like I, I there's my bottle of it right there. I just I brought in two liters of it uh, to train on, and um, that's all I need in a day. Uh, the recipe is you take two liters of distilled water and you add into it one teaspoon of potassium chloride salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, uh, a half a teaspoon of edible Epsom salt, and a half a teaspoon of sea salt, or you can replace the sea salt with the pink salt. I like the sea salt. And I'll tell you what, man, you wake up and you drink a liter of that, you go into the gym and bring a liter with you. And, I mean, I, I, noticed, I noticed it was not there. And I guess I had to go without it and let my training start to unravel like a cheap suit for me to uh, put value on that. So um, I think I've learned my lesson on that one. Now let's just see if I if if uh, actions speak louder than words, shall we? Because <clears throat> if you know me, I definitely want those PRs in uh, 21 days. <laughs> yep. See, so I'm taking these squats. Nice and low and pausing them. You know, when you pause, 
when you pause with a with a decent weight on your back, it, it feels like forever. You know that pause. It feels like one second feels like three, but uh, I definitely could have held these pauses longer. But this pause, I'm especially proud of because it's a sign that we are not operating the same way as we did last week. Now for the bench, bench moves super super well today. Um, one thing I don't like about this Thompson fat pad is that it's just not sticky enough. I've got my back caked in chalk. It's sweaty. And I even have some chalk on the pad for extra stick. And it just, it ain't sticking, man. You know, I would like my back to be absolutely, utterly stuck to that pad. But it's still sliding a little bit. And, and, I, don't, and I don't want, uh, you know, a ton of arch because that kind of locks me down. I mean, the chest can never be too high, but, I, you know, I don't believe in the, in the mile-high arch. I believe in a high chest, a high sternum. But that doggone, that doggone uh, Thompson fat pad, it's, it's nice, but it's just not sticky enough for me. So, by any chance, years from now, Donnie Thompson's watching. Sorry, Donnie. It's a cool pad, but um, I think there's, there's better surfaces out there. But I'm not, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not really complaining because this is a great gym. Um, yeah, and I'll figure my way around it. I think uh, me, Dan, I'm going to have somebody uh, just keep my, keep the area across my scapula wet with water and chalk so I can stick to the bench better. But then again, I don't know. That might irritate the other lifters. We'll see. Well, here's the top set, 215 for a single. And... Um, Leg drive is there, high chest is there. Everything felt right about this one, no problem at all. And then I do my work sets, 190 for three sets of four. Trying to get that barbell to drop down faster without losing any upper back tightness. And I thought this might be an interesting angle. I have my nephew um, videotape me from, from the head down. It turns out to be a pretty interesting angle. I don't know if I'd use it again. We'll have to see. See how the coach likes it. And the deadlifting portion was my favorite portion because uh, last week uh, the deadlifts felt really, really heavy, moved really, really slow. And, uh, man, I was, I was spent by the time uh, I walked out of the gym last week. But today I walked out of there feeling fresh, and I know it's because of the salt water. The guy across from me, Charles, me and him were, were trading sets. He would go, I would go, he would go, I would go. So it was nice to have company. Charles got a, a, a PR today off, off the deficit, 505 PR. So congratulations on that, Charles. And I was feeding off of your energy, you were feeding off of mine, and it was really nice to, uh, to have some company and, and bust these reps out. So here's the top set, 430 for a single. Didn't move as fast as I'd like, but it didn't feel heavy. And Charles noticed that I could have had more hips in it, uh, so I practiced uh, uh, a little bit wider of a stance here. And I'm supposed to get two sets of four, and, and I did, but the cannon cut out on me again. And this was the last set where um, Charles was noticing my hips were moving really good. And he goes, get another one. So I get another one. So it was actually my last set was a set of five.